Trust your first impression. What do you see? I see green. Mm -hmm. I see green. Very good. Tell me what this green is like. Like a field. Mm -hmm. A field. Very good. Look around you. <clears throat> what else is there besides the green? See black behind me. Mm -hmm. Black behind me. Maybe it's night time. Because mm -hmm. I thought I was in space, but there's green. Okay, very good. Look down at this green below you and tell me if you can see any feet. No. Mm -hmm. Do you feel that you have a body in this place? No. Mm -hmm. Well, that's very good because that means we can do some exploring, some moving around. So I want you to find yourself in a comfortable position where you can float around and do some exploration in this place. What do you see as you travel? It's like green mist. Green mist. Mm -hmm. Very good. Where do you... Like a green cloud. Mm -hmm. Tell me more about this. It's just around me. Mm -hmm. Around me. But there's still black. Mm -hmm. Space-like behind me. Do you feel that you can move around in this green mist? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So let's move around and see if you can go through it. Use your breath to take you through this. Propel you forward. What do you experience? Like a bumblebee, like an insect zooming Mm-hmm. Where do you zoom to? Still through the green. Mm-hmm. And you mentioned that you felt like a, a, an insect. Do you feel small or large in this place? Small. Mm-hmm. So let's find out what it is that you are there. Can you focus and see? what you can imagine yourself to look like. What do, mm. you, what do you feel like you are like there? Just floating. Floating. Mm. Do you feel that you are part of this floating green mist? Mm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Very good. So let's let's see what this floating green mist is. Can you kind of zoom out? Allow yourself to zoom out much farther from where you are now to see if you can get a another perspective on this green mist. Now there's more black and more it's green. Black. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. Do you feel that this place is very large where you are? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's connect with what you feel out there. How do you feel as you're floating around as this green mist? Free. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else out there besides you, besides this green mist? Look around and see if there's anything else floating with you. Perhaps a different shape. We just feel very free out there. Mm. Very good, very good. 
Do you feel that there's any other significance in this place besides the feeling of free? Anything else come to your awareness? Being open space. Mm -hmm. Which makes me feel like I am. It's wispy. Mm -hmm. Wispy. Very good. Let's close that scene. Close it in your mind like a book. And we're going to go drifting and floating to another time and another place where there's information that will help you answer your questions. Feel yourself drifting and floating in time. And be there now. Open the scene in front of you. Do you feel like you're indoors or outdoors? Outdoors? Mm -hmm. It's dusty. Dusty. Very good. What else do you perceive from this? On a, on a street. On a street. Mm -hmm. What kind of street are we looking at? Are we looking at a modern street? or No, like a main street. Mm -hmm. Like a scene of a western. Like a western. Very good. And as you look out at this scene, see if you have a body now. Look down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What do you see on your feet? Like leather boots. Mm -hmm. Leather boots. Do you feel that these feet are male or female? Female. Because mm -hmm. I'm wearing a dress. What kind of dress are you wearing? It's long. Mm -hmm bluish white with an apron mm -hmm. can you tell what your features are like pretty my hair is up mm -hmm. it's curly blonde mm -hmm. Are you carrying anything? No, I'm just walking. Mm -hmm. So let's see where it is that you're walking. I want you to describe everything that you see in as much detail. I see the log things where you'd tie a horse up mm -hmm. outside the buildings. Yes. There's different buildings. They're low. The big building behind me to the left. Mm -hmm. What do you think this building is? Saloon. Mm -hmm. Where do you think you're going? I'm not sure. Okay. So as you walk, you'll know what you're doing there. Allow that to come into your mind. And tell me where it is that you're going. I think I might be going home. Mm -hmm. All right, very good. So see yourself now in front of your home. Allow yourself to close that scene behind you and see your home in front of you. And tell me where you are. Standing in the front mm -hmm. foyer, sort of entrance area. Yes. Outside it was, had white. Mm -hmm. I think it's made of brick. 
it's quite big inside there's there's two levels it's quite open lots of windows mm -hmm. I'm just standing in the foyer as you look at this home of yours what social status do you feel that you're in yeah I don't think I think we're doing quite well we're not poor mm -hmm. it's a big house two levels mm -hmm. so let's see who it is that you live with in that home I want you to see yourself in that home now eating a meal with those that live with you tell me where you are it's a dining room mm -hmm. like a near a kitchen it's not a separate dining room it's a big long table look around the table who do you see I think there's a man and a couple of children. Two little girls. And what do you do in this family? What role do you play? I think I'm their mother. Very good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Who else is in the home with you? Does anyone help you? No. Mm -hmm. Look into the eyes of the man and the eyes of the window to the soul. See if you recognize this man as anyone in the life of Belinda. The eyes always look the same. Do you recognize this man? It feels familiar. Mm -hmm. But he's withdrawn. Mm -hmm. Tell me about that. He's not so affectionate. Mm -hmm. What does your husband do for a living? something outdoor mm -hmm. what kind of hat do you see like a cowboy hat a cowboy hat does he own any land mm. don't know okay very good Take, can you see the little girls in front of you yeah mm-hmm do they look like anyone that you know in the life of Belinda? Are they familiar? Yeah. Mm hmm. Who do they look like? Who do you recognize them to be? My friend Sarah. Mm hmm. Very good. And Tony, my, and, friend, my girlfriend Tony. Mm -hmm. Very good, very good. All right, let's leave that scene now. Close that scene behind you. And let's now move to another day in time in that same lifetime when something very important is happening, something that really affects you. Be there now. What's going on? Mm, nothing much. Mm -hmm. Tell me where you are. The girls have grown. They're teenagers now. Mm -hmm. I 
And I think my husband has gone somewhere. The man. I think it was my husband. He's not there. Mm -hmm. I want you to go back and see what happened to this man. What are you feeling? Hmm. Trust your impression. I think he left. Mm -hmm. You're left alone? No, for another woman. Mm, okay. So what's happening now that you're there with your teenage girls? What's going through your mind? It'll be okay on my own. Mm -hmm. We'll be okay. Very good. How old do you feel there? Thirty something. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Is there anything else in this scene that's significant? I don't understand really why he left. Mm -hmm. How does that make you feel? Confused. Mm -hmm. What else? What other feelings are bubbling up? Why? Why did it happen? Mm -hmm. Why did he feel the need to, to go elsewhere when he had us? Mm -hmm. All right. Close that scene now. Let's move to another time in that lifetime when something important is happening. Be there now. Where are you? Upstairs in the house. Mm -hmm. I'm older. Still on my own. Mm -hmm. Are you by yourself now? Yeah. Mm -hmm. How do you feel being alone? Wouldn't have been my choice. Mm -hmm. What feelings do you feel about your husband? Emptiness. Mm -hmm. Like you... there was a void, a void left. A void was left. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you feel abandoned? Yeah, yeah. All right, now let's go ahead to the last day of your life in that lifetime. It's the last day. Tell me where you are. I'm lying down. Mm -hmm. How old do you feel? Fifty or sixty something. Mm -hmm. What's going on with you there? I'm just tired. I've had enough. Mm -hmm. Tell me what you f say. What you mean by feeling tired? My body's heavy. Mm -hmm. I don't have energy to do what I what I used to do. Is this caused by an illness or by just, just how you feel? How I feel. Mm -hmm. well, I'm not sick. 
You just feel like leaving now? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So take your last breath now. Allow yourself to take that last breath and transition out of that body. And as you look at that body, every life has a purpose and a lesson. As you look at that life that you just lived, what do you feel that was the purpose of living that life? Be a good mother to my two girls. Mm -hmm. Do you feel that you did that? As best I could on my own. Mm -hmm. And what lessons did you learn along the way? That you can look after yourself. Mm -hmm. If you have to. Yes. All right, I want you to leave that body now. See yourself leaving that body behind and tell me where you go as you leave. Tell me what you see along the way. See the green mist and the black stars sort of universe mm -hmm. behind me again. What do you think this green mist is now that you've come back twice to it? Or you've come back? It's like the in-between. Mm -hmm. In-between. Do you feel that this is where you go to rest? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, thought, I thought in limbo at first, but mm -hmm. it's just a place to be. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's nice. It feels good. Yeah. All right. So I want you now, as you enjoy that green mist, I want you to transition to the time where you go and visit your council. Visit your council to go over the review of that life. And tell me what you see. Are you greeted by anyone? It looks like the way God is portrayed. Mm -hmm. Tell me how that is. He has like a halo, like a light surrounding him. Mm -hmm. How is he dressed? Flowing robes, mm -hmm. white, everything's white. He's at a big white table, like a judge's bench, but it's white. Mm -hmm. What do you think that is made out of? It's like marble, mm -hmm. but just white, not the grey of some marble. Mm -hmm. Is he the only one that you see? There's other beings there, but they're smaller. He's the more obvious one. Mm -hmm. See what happens next. Can you address him? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What does he tell you? Just a feeling. Mm -hmm. What feeling are you getting? Love, beautiful kindness and warmth. What happens next? It's like he's telling me it's okay. Mm hmm okay. How does that make you feel? Calm, pleasant. I'm, I'm happy with 
with the place I'm at. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And who are the other beings around? Do you know who they are? No, they're sort of to the back, mm -hmm. set back and behind him. Is it, is it okay if we ask him questions today? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ask him if he could tell you what your life purpose is. To love and to be loved and to be open to love those around you. Are you on the right path? I believe so. Mm -hmm. Ask him if he can tell you if you will ever be blessed with a baby of your own. So. No answer. What do you get from him? Mm. Mm -hmm. Would he tell you why you chose the current family? teach them how to love. Mm. Has that worked? Well, it's a little bit too early still. Mm -hmm. What are you being shown? My mother's smiling. Mm -hmm. How does that feel? Nice. Very good. Very good. Because I don't think she knows how to be happy easily. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She would like to connect with her father and grandparents if possible. Would you allow that connection? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very good. I'm going to count from one to three. When I get to three, I'll touch your forehead. And we're going to connect with your father, Chris. One, two, and three. Good evening, Chris. Hi. Your daughter has been wondering how you are. Yeah, I've been busy. Mm -hmm. What have you been doing, Chris? Watching over her. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Has she been doing okay? She's learnt a lot. Mm -hmm. Who's been teaching her? I have. Mm. Have you become one of her guides? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What would you like to tell her today? But she's doing okay. She's on the right path. 
Because she was asking Heather if she should go and live in Southern California. What do you think about that, since you're guiding her? She needs to find the right, the right path to get there. Mm -hmm. You think that's the right thing to do? Yeah, she's going to need some help. Mm -hmm. Would you help her with that? I'd love to. Wonderful. Is there anything else you want to tell her? Continue the way you are. Continue the path that you are on. Very good. Take a deep breath in. Be Belinda. Belinda, what would you like to tell your dad? Thank you for the lessons. Thank you for the guidance. Anything you would ask of him? Why Tony? <laughs> Why him? Take a deep breath, be your dad. Chris, what would you like to tell him? He needs the love. He doesn't understand what it is to be loved. Mm -hmm. And that's her purpose in life, isn't it? To love and to be loved. Yeah, mm -hmm. perfect. So she's doing her purpose with him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So she has to understand that this is part of her purpose, is to love others. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very good. Chris, how is your mother, Nancy, doing? Are you anywhere near her or with her? She's in a different place. Mm. Mm -hmm. What about Mavis? It's her birthday today. Is she around? Are you able to connect with her? Mm. No? No. Okay. Well, Chris, thank you very much for being here today. I know she's going to really appreciate it. May the light of the universe always accompany you. Thank you. Let me speak now with the higher self. Thank you very much for allowing that beautiful time together. I know she's going to appreciate it. Can you answer some of these questions for her? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Why did you bring her here to this session? For healing. Mm -hmm. For healing for her body? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can we do that later and get some of these questions answered for her? Mm, Thank sure. you. Mm -hmm. She wants to know what connection she has to Egypt and what's the meaning of the two men in Egypt with the same birthday. Who are they? Has she lived there before? I believe so. Would you allow her to see that past life so that she can make the connection with them? Yeah. Would you like to take her there? All right. Just use your breath now and drift and float into that lifetime. You know how to do it. Just take yourself there. And as you arrive, look around. 
and tell me where you are. What do you see? I see white sandstone walls, mm -hmm. like sandstone. What are these walls for? Is it a building or a wall? Yeah, it's a building. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. It's an entrance. Mm -hmm. Tell me more about this entrance. Where does it lead to? Into a... Like a court area. Mm -hmm. I want you to acclimate yourself with that body. Feel yourself totally fitting into that body now, putting it on as if it were some sort of a piece of wardrobe. Feel yourself slipping in. And as you slip into that body now, you can tell me if you're male or female. I'm a male. Mm -hmm. Tell me about yourself. Who are you? I'm a young young male what did they call you there mm, mm -hmm. not sure tell me about yourself what do you look like handsome mm -hmm. brown skin I'm not very old. Mm -hmm. How are you dressed? Just with the like the white cotton, what I would call a skirt, but it's like a not even a loincloth, but like a skirt. Mm -hmm. It's wrapped around. Yes. Anything on your top? No. Mm -hmm. Bare. Mm -hmm. What about on your feet? No, bare feet. Bare feet. Okay. So tell me what it is that you're doing there. Where is this entrance? Where does it lead to? You say there's a court area there? Yeah, it's open air. Mm -hmm. There's palm trees. What else? It's pretty sparse. Mm -hmm. Are you alone or are there others there? Yeah, there's a couple of other people. Mm -hmm. Who are they? Take a look and see. Are they male or female? The other guys. Mm -hmm. I don't know them though. What do you think this place is where you are? It's like a social place. Okay. What do you do there? I'm just hanging out. Mm -hmm. Just leisurely. Strolling around. It's like a... The communal social place. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what is the purpose of you being in this place today? Are you looking for anybody in particular to socialize with? No, I just like socializing, being out with, with others. Mm -hmm. It's fun. Mm -hmm. What is it that you do when you're not socializing? Not much. Mm -hmm. All right. Look around you and see if there's anything else in this scene that's important. Anything significant here? Uh, 
I see the pyramids off in the distance. Mm -hmm. The big pyramids. Um, it's nearby. Mm -hmm. So let's find out how you're related to this place, this pyramid. See what you do there. I want you to go now to a moment in that lifetime when something important is happening, something that tells you more about this life. Tell me where you are. I'm on a construction site. Mm -hmm. We're all working. Tell me more. I'm not sure what we're building. What's the responsibility that you have? I'm just a worker. Mm -hmm. How many people are there with you? There's lots. Mm -hmm. So describe to me what it is that you're doing at this particular moment. Something with a rope that helps lift things to get them up high where they're needed. So let's find out what it is that you're building. I want you to advance it. Advance the scene to where you see the completion of it. What do you see? It's like a house. Like a house. Mm -hmm. What are you using to construct this house? Wood. Mm -hmm. Stone. Is this your job to construct houses? Yeah, I'm just yes. one of the workers. Very good. So let's move ahead in this lifetime to find where it is that you know the people from the existing lifetime of Belinda. I want you to move ahead. Let's see where you know them from. Where are you? Feels like a family home. Mm -hmm. Who's there with you? Look around you. I only see boys. Mm -hmm. Are these young boys? One's older, one's younger. Mm -hmm. And who are these boys to you? Maybe brothers or cousins. Mm -hmm. Take a look at their eyes. See if you recognize any of them. Yeah, the older one. Mm-hmm. Who is he to you? Is he a brother or a cousin? A brother. A brother. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So look in his eyes and who? Who is he in the life of Belinda? No, he's Ahmed for sure. Mm -hmm. What kind of relationship do you have here with your brother there? He's a, he's a bit authoritative. Mm -hmm. Is he older or younger than you? Yeah, he's older. Mm -hmm. So do you need to listen to what he says? As being the older brother? Mm. 
Mm, yeah. Mm -hmm. But I don't always. I don't always take on what he says. Mm -hmm. What kind of relationship is it with him? He's a bit bossy. <laughs> Do you like him or not? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Most of the time. Good. You just have to put up with that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very good. Very good. So now let's move away from that scene. Move away from that. And now let's go, let's go to another important day and time in that lifetime. Something that is important in the life of Bull in the Now. something that's impacting her. Go to that life. Go to that scene and tell me what's happening. Where are you? We're in still a family home. Mm -hmm. What's going on there? He's giving me some advice. Mm -hmm. What advice is he giving you? So just be patient. Mm -hmm. What is this in reference to, do you know? I think it's a girl that I like, mm -hmm. someone I hope to marry, someone I thought I would like to marry. Mm -hmm. Very good. How do you feel about this advice? Mm, he's my big brother. It's... I listen to it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Where is your mother and father? They're not there. Who's raising you? Who has raised you? He has, I think. Mm -hmm. So it's almost like a father to you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very good. Let's move now to another important scene. You're much older now. Tell me what's happening. Are you indoors or outdoors? Indoors. Mm -hmm. Where are you? It's in that communal place again. Mm -hmm. Are you alone or with other people? No, he's there again. He's mm -hmm. still there. Do you feel like you live with him? He's sort of taking care of me still. Okay. Very good. So what's the significance of this, this scene now? What's around you? We're in a nice place. It's a safe place. Okay. You feel safe there? Yeah. Very good. 
Let's move now to the last day of your life in that lifetime. lifetime. Move forward and tell me where you are. Where are you? I'm in a sort of wilderness. Hmm. What are you doing there? I'm just walking. I don't want to be around people. How old are you? Now, yeah, quite old. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be there anymore. Do you feel ill? No, I'm not unwell. Mm -hmm. I just don't want to be there. So where do you go? There's a favorite place I like to sit under a tree. I can be alone. And what happens when you get to this place? It's just quiet. Mm -hmm. What feelings do you feel here? Calm. Very good. So I want you now to go to the last moment of your life. Tell me if you're in the same place or somewhere else. No, I'm there under my favorite tree. Mm -hmm. To take your last breath while you're there. And see yourself leaving that body. And as you leave that body, tell me where you go. It's the green mist with the mm -hmm. black behind me again. Beautiful. As you look back at that life, every life had a purpose. Every life had a lesson. What was the purpose of that lifetime? To know that my brother was guiding me with love, mm -hmm. his love for me as his little brother. Mm -hmm. He wanted me to take the right steps. And do you feel you accomplished what you needed to in that lifetime? Yeah, I do. Mm -hmm. You finish your life, your life very calmly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Were there any lessons that you learned from that? To be patient, as he said. Ah, very good. Very good. Very good. So let's leave that scene and let me connect with your higher self again. Thank you very much for allowing that. Now she knows who I... Ahmed was her bossy brother mm -hmm. who gave her a lot of advice and who loved her. Is that why they have such an affinity now? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is he still being bossy? A little. Not so bossy now, more mm -hmm. firm. So, So, can you tell me about her, her employment? She says she loves her job, but she wants to know if there's somewhere else that she needs to be to serve better. It gives her the freedom to do a lot of things. Mm -hmm. The freedom of time that a lot of people don't have. Mm -hmm. But she says that now, recently, she's getting inflamed. What's causing that? It's just the altitude. Mm -hmm. Is there anything that she can do 
to help with that inflammation? Maintain her body as best she can. Okay. Would you do a body scan on her and see what's going on with her body? There's something going on with her knees. Mm -hmm. What's going on there? There's lumpiness. Mm -hmm. Lumpiness around them. Can you zoom in on them and see what, what that is? It's like rest restricting the the function of the knees. Mm -hmm. Is that coming from something emotional or physical? Yeah, emotional. Mm -hmm. What kind of emotions are we dealing with there? Past hurt. Mm -hmm. Is this from this lifetime? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. What can we do to have her let go of that so that we can begin the healing with her knees? Just know that you've grown. Mm -hmm. You've grown past that. Grown past that. All right. So can I ask on her behalf to start working on her knees and bring down that lumpiness? Yeah. Very good. What else have you found? Just that. Mm -hmm. She says that she has some inflammation in her joints, shoulders, hands, and fingers. What emotion is causing that? I think it's just the stage of life that she's at. Mm -hmm. Does it have anything to do with, with her age? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what can we do to help her alleviate some of these symptoms during this phase? She has the inflammation, she has the hormonal issues with the flushes and the headaches. Stick with the naturopath. Mm -hmm. That she sees. She can help. Mm -hmm. Is any of this caused by any chemicals that she's ingesting or? The sugar. The sugar. Yeah. Okay. What's the sugar doing to her? It messes with her body. Mm -hmm. In what way? Her body doesn't like it. Mm -hmm. So what's it doing? Complaining? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What part of her body is affected the most by this sugar? The blood, blood sugars, blood, the blood, the blood pathways. Mm -hmm. How does it affect it? Makes it go thick and goggy. Mm, okay. So what advice do you have to give her about that sugar? She seems to be addicted to it. Yeah, she needs to cut back. Mm -hmm. So can I ask on her behalf to start working on her taste buds? Yes. So that when she ingests something, 
that's not good for her? That she gets a reaction in her taste buds? Yeah, that's allows, mm-hmm, allows her not to enjoy the taste of it anymore? Yeah. Because it seems that the taste buds are the ones who want. Yep. Mm-hmm. So let's start with that. That when she actually ingests something that is not good for her, her body will give her the perfect indication that her make make her feel that she is not eating something that tastes very good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And as she eats more of it, she feels more and more of the taste buds rejecting it. Yeah. To where it's going to be so sweet that she just can't tolerate it anymore. She already gets the taste after. Mm-hmm. So let's give her that taste now yeah. to remind her of what that is. It's there. Mm-hmm. Very good. And if I could ask on her behalf to start going through her bloodstream and start getting some of that gook out. Yes. Can we send some energy in there? I'd like to ask at this time if my Archangel Raphael could come in and do some of the healing with you. Yeah. Mm-hmm and clean out all of her blood, cleanse it, go through that gook. And I want Belinda to use your mind to make yourself into a very, very, very tiny, tiny little particle. Use that consciousness and go into your bloodstream and tell me what it looks like with all that sugar in there. Dense. Mm-hmm. Sludgy. Mm-hmm. So I'd like you for you, while your higher self and Archangel Raphael is working on you, I want you to start working on it yourself. What tool would you like to use to start cleaning up all of that? All of your blood. Like a bottle brush. Mm-hmm. All right. So let's start going through your bloodstream. And as you go through it, I want you to start cleaning it all up. Find yourself going through very quickly. And you can just eliminate all that. Use that, that brush to start cleaning up all the walls of all the veins and arteries in your system. And tell me what they start looking like when you start cleaning them. Sparkly clean. Very good. So now I'd like for you to go into the places that are inflamed. What places do you feel need the first work? The thumb, right thumb. All right. So I'd like for you to go into your right thumb. See yourself as that little particle. And I want you to use whatever tool it is that you feel can take that inflammation down. It could be some sort of a vacuum, or it could be some sort of a, maybe a hose that will wash it down. What would you feel that would be the best thing to eliminate that? Yeah, a powerful hose. All right, so I want you to imagine yourself with that hose going through your thumb and start washing it down. All of that inflammation is caused by all of that, all of that reaction to that sugar. All of that toxic, all of that toxic chemical that's been ingested by you. And I want you to start washing down all of the walls inside of your thumb. As it washes it down, you notice that the inflammation starts being alleviated, starts going down. You don't have as much pressure in it anymore because you're not resisting that chemical anymore. You don't need to have the thumb fight against the chemical. You've washed it all out. And tell me what you see. It 
sparkly clean. Very good. So where would you like to go next? The knees. Very good. So let's start with one of the knees and go through it and use that powerful hose and start washing down all of the walls. Notice all of those chemicals that have been stuck to those walls from all of that sugar. All of that terrible toxic sugar that affects all of the cells, feeds all of the all of the bad cells that need to fight it. See yourself washing it down and as it does you can see the inflammation beginning to shrink. The relief of the blood flow through it. Nothing restricting it. See that blood flowing cleanly as you wash everything down. And when you're finished with one knee, go to the next one. And tell me what it looks like. It's so gluggy. Mm -hmm. So go ahead and use that powerful, powerful hose to wash it down. Notice the changes. Remember what it looks like once you wash it down. And tell me when you're done. Yeah, we're done. Very good, very good. So now that you've finished with that, let's take a look at what's going on with the melanoma on the left arm. I'd like to ask the higher self what's going on there. It's done. Mm -hmm. Good. It's nothing. Mm, beautiful. Can we address the hormonal issues, the flushes and the headaches? What's causing that? Same thing, sugar? And the hormones. Mm-hmm. Can we get some adjustment in the hormones? Yeah. We were talking about the fact that each woman has a different reaction. What's causing her to have a reaction the way she is with her body right now? The stresses of work, mm -hmm. the physical stresses. Does she have any resistance to menopause? A little, because she'd hope for a baby. Mm -hmm. What would you like to tell her about that? But it's okay. Mm-hmm. Is it possible for her to contact her cat, Amber? Where is Amber? No, she's not here. She's not here. No. She felt that maybe Amber was connected to her. Yeah, she loved her very much. Mm -hmm. What was the purpose of Amber being in her life? To give her someone to love. Mm. Which is part of her purpose. Yeah. Very good. Very good. Is there anything that we could have asked today that maybe Belinda didn't ask you would like to tell her? Stick to her path. Mm -hmm. Stick to the happiness. Stick to the love. 
loving herself and loving others. Mm -hmm. Is there any other message you would like to give anybody else? To love each other more. Not be so angry and self focused. It's all about the love. It's all about the love. Good, thank you. Do you feel that this session is complete? That she got what she needed from it? Yes. Very good. So, on her behalf, I would like to ask that you continue working on her body when she sleeps at night, when she's resting so that she could be at the most optimum health, so that she can continue working, loving, traveling, being the loving person that she is. Can I ask for that, please? Yes, I certainly I wide awake now, wide awake now, feeling wonderful all over. Hi. Hi. How was it? Wow. It was like a movie, like I was seeing it in front of me. Mm. So now that you've had this experience, mm. was it what you felt you wanted? Did you get the experience you wanted? Yeah. Got all your I imagine it would be more, much more detailed. But? You but got they it. came, yeah. They came exactly. Yeah. So how long do you feel you were on this journey? Feels like about 30 minutes. That was about an hour and a half. Oh. So, complete. You know, yeah. The, the, the session was about an hour and 15 minutes. But yeah. With all the visualization stuff, it's mm. a little bit more than that. So, you were... Yeah. And what about your higher self connecting with that? You felt pretty connected. Yeah. It was good. That's How did beautiful. the selenite work for you? First it was cold. And then? And then it warmed up. Mm -hmm. And then tingling. So, yeah. you felt you were connected yeah my hands felt like they were stuck to my so now that you experience this this is more hypnotherapy mm. because you saw that we did a lot of healing yeah uh, your own healing yeah and that's a tool that you can use now in the future yeah whenever you feel anything that you can use the same tool yeah to go through there put yourself in the state and do yeah. all the healing yourself now you have the tools to use it yeah perfect okay and um you recommend this to other people absolutely you're gonna be showing this to <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> good yeah. i thought it was a really very very nice nice journey yeah very pleasant very yeah everything good so is this something you want to share or you want to keep private as long as we can edit some of the bits <laughs> Yes. Yeah, because it was, you know, that's the, the personal bits. Yeah, yes, of course. Okay, we're, we're even. Good. So here we are together. All right, so we had a really interesting session. Yeah. Very nice. Now you know that why you were in Egypt. Yeah. yeah. That was one of your questions. Yeah. And is it worth coming here? Absolutely. Okay, so tell them where you came from. I came all the way from Melbourne, Australia <laughs> <laughs> to see Barbara Streisand and Elba <laughs> I don't with my mother. I don't think that. <laughs> I did a little bit. <laughs> so uh, it was a good session. It was very, it was very peaceful. Yeah. There was nothing dramatic about no. it. Your life is not dramatic no. anyway, so you can no. see that that was something that. Yeah. It, it, it's every, it's different for everybody. Yeah. So. Yeah. So if you would like a session with me, just go to albawyman.com and you can book it just like the Linda did. Yeah. And you don't have to come all the way from Australia. <laughs> but we had a really nice session, and that's what she needed. Yeah. That's it, everything you needed. So thank you for watching, and until the next time, thanks. Bye. <laughs> Hug. Absolutely. Oh. That was beautiful.